Salutations, friends. It is me, said Stevie, in the place to be. Whew, uh, I don't know what that was. Uh, that is some lame, uh, off-the-dome uh, freestyle that just popped into my head for some reason. And I uh, don't know why. So, anywho, uh, let's forget about that and uh, move on, shall we? Uh, package arrived, and I started opening it. Uh, it's from Arcane Design. And I wasn't going to do an unboxing or a mail call video. I know I kind of already said that I was bored of doing that. But the Pretheon has landed. And I figured I would bring you folks along uh, while I check it out for the first time. So uh, ignore any previous statements about doing uh, unboxing and mail call videos. So uh, it came in this... Uh, all arcane knives that I've received uh, have come in a padded zipper uh, pouch with the arcane design logo on it. Dope design too, by the way. I like Israel's design. Uh, here it is. Dun dun dun. All right. So the card of authenticity. Arcane Design, Certificate of Authenticity, the Pretheon, a handle in titanium, the blade in 20 CV, uh, the finish is stonewash gray, uh, and then it is signed by Israel. Uh, here it is. Uh, looks like it's got uh, something to help protect the, I guess, the clip from rubbing on the scales while it was in transit, maybe? That's a nice little touch. Here it is, folks. Look at that. Uh, so we got, uh, it's a front flipper. Uh, it's got thumb studs. It's got a slot. And it's got this glow carbon uh, inlay. Onlay? Inlay? Yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty sweet uh, looking knife. Uh, let's see. I do have some specs uh, pulled up here. So... Uh, let's give it a front flip to open it. Um, oh, missed it that one. All right, going to need a little work on the uh, front flipper, but uh, there you go, folks. Uh, this is a 3.25 inch blade, a 4 inch handle uh, for an overall length of 7.3, uh, 1.3, uh, 0.13 uh, blade thickness. A handle thickness of uh, 0.52, an overall weight of 4.2, uh, 20 CV on the blade steel, uh, milled uh, steel liners, and uh, this is a drop point uh, style blade with a full flat grind, an inset uh, liner, um, as I mentioned, cage ceramic bearings, and a uh, reversible pocket clip. Yeah, so um, you see there, nice stonewash finish on the blade. The Arcane Design logo. Uh, PVD coated, I'm assuming, uh, studs and hardware. Uh, the carbon, glow carbon uh, insert, which I got a, a UV light here. Uh, we'll check that out here in a second. Uh, assuming T8 body screws. As he said, or uh, as I said, a reversible pocket clip, which is cool. And I'm just noticing now a truly deep carry pocket clip. Uh, most titanium uh, pocket clips are not full uh, deep carry like that. And this one is. So that's cool. And uh, then you see the insert there. Uh, T8 uh, pivot, I'm assuming. And then the, uh, sorry, the light is kind of bugging me. The Pretheon logo. Uh, looks like it came completely centered for sure. Let's give it a middle finger flick. Snappy action on the detent. Uh, fairly easy access to the liner. I could use a little jimping. It's a little uh, smooth there, but I definitely engage it. Drops right to the nail. Little shake shut. Can't uh, complain about that. Thumb stud from the studs, no problem. Uh, finger flick from the fuller, 
No problem. Uh, can I thumb flick from the fuller? No, I'm not going to try, but you can definitely slow roll it. Uh, ergos. Uh, so four inch handle. Uh, it's right in my sweet spot uh, for my uh, ham fists here. My double XL uh, hand. I get a full four on it. No problem. And then you got a nice uh, choil here that uh, allows me to choke up. Nice jimping like uh, the jimping right there. Uh, nice swedge to uh, the spine of the uh, the knife there. And uh, yeah, ergos are good. Um, it's not too sharp right there, so I don't have any problems uh, choking up. And man, what else to uh, say about this? Definitely got a master that uh, front flipper. Gonna have to get used to that, but I'm digging this knife. Um, I, and I really dig uh, most of Arcane Design's uh, knives. Uh, this is one of, I believe, his smaller ones. Uh, I do have the um, Abyss uh, right here. Fabulous knife. Nice buoy style uh, uh, blade on that. Same stone wash, same uh, finish to the handles there. Uh, and then I also have the... Uh, Elijah Isham collaboration uh, with Arcane, the Plexus, and that's a big knife. So you can see there, in comparison, it's uh, smaller than those two. I used to have a Necronaut, uh, the Tanto uh, design of his, and for some reason I sold it. Kick myself every day for, uh, not every day, I don't literally do that, but uh, I regret selling it. I need to get another one. And then he also has the Crawler. Uh, the nice Warncleaf uh, blade. Uh, I'd really like to get one of those. And then he also has that double-edged dagger uh, collaboration with uh, Felix at Something Obscene Company, uh, the Antimatter. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm digging. I'm digging this uh, so far. Uh, Twenty CV on the blade steel. Uh, I. Thought it was M390. I like that it's 20 CV. Um, I would prefer 20 CV over a Bowler M390, which is everywhere these days. And it's also a U.S. steel, so there's that. Uh, I do not have any experience with... Uh, oh, so I believe... Who that is? Uh, I believe that the OEM on this is Riot. Uh, but it could be best tech. I'm, I don't quite remember. Uh, either way, I don't have any uh, experience with uh, either of those uh, OEMs uh, 20 CV. Uh, I assume it's going to perform well. Uh, got some paper here. Uh, let's check the, uh, the sharpness of it. Okay. I think that's sharp. So, uh, cuts paper. That's good. It needs to cut at least paper, right? Uh, I don't know long term how this is going to perform. I don't know what the uh, HRC, it didn't have an HRC listed or anything. So, uh, to be determined on that. But, uh, yeah, this is cool. Um, oh, I bet it, oh, there it is. Uh, I was going to say, I bet it has a uh, Arcane Design logo on the underside of the uh, backspacer, uh, just like I know the uh, cro or the Abyss does, and I know that the Necronaut did as well. Uh, they didn't do that on the Plexus because they put the Isham and uh, Arcane logos on the spine of the or the the top of the backspacer but uh that's a little hidden gem that i found uh when i was taking apart my necronaut and uh yeah so um what else to say folks uh i'm really digging it i'm really digging this uh israel is a cool dude i've had a chance to meet him uh, at uh, the two blade shows that i've gone to east and west i did an interview with him at blade show west Awesome dude, Pacific Northwest guy. He's actually not too far from me. Uh, the city where he resides is not 
not very far from me at all. So he's a local uh, dude. And so I always like supporting uh, Pacific Northwest uh, companies. And I think that uh, as far as knife designers go, he's one of my favorite. I really, really like what he's doing. Uh, you can never uh, mistake his designs for something else. It, if you see this, whether you see the logo or not, I think you say that looks like an arcane design. And one of the things, and I have this pulled up here, actually, because I wanted to touch on it. When I first discovered Arcane Design, I had gone to his website and on the About Us uh, tab, uh, and he's actually got it highlighted. Uh, this had stood out to me, though, when I first read it. Arcane was formed out of the desire to explore the unknown and discover its aesthetic. I really like that. Uh, he goes on to talk about uh, his love and fascination of the future and the unknown and uh, his love of sci-fi and that clearly translates into his designs and um, I'm a fan uh, whatever he comes up with uh, I'm sure I'm going to pick it up he's got the cr the creature the creature? no the crypt? The crypt uh like a big old persian style four inch blade big old knife um that uh oh just kicked my camera just kicked my camera that's nice of you to do stevie very nice of you to do in the midst of a video but uh yeah the crypt uh, is gonna be cool um you know maybe he comes out with something that i don't pick up but so far i really like what i see and, uh, again, is a dude that I'm going to support. Uh, I also wanted to say that I, this was 365 bucks. Uh, picked up, uh, the pre-order was like back in June, I believe. And, uh, just came, so it was six months. But, uh, he's got a drop coming. Oh, did I not, I didn't check out the, uh, I didn't check out the glow yet. Almost forgot about that. I pulled up the uh, his Instagram page and saw it glowing, and realized uh, I got to figure out how to turn on the. There it goes. This little Rovi Vaughn that I got. Um, there you can see it. Uh, look at that. It glows. I almost forgot to check that out. That's the coolest part of it. I've never uh, had material like that before. Yeah, look at that. Is it picking up on camera? How it uh, glows? I'll have to check it out uh, in the dark a little bit more, but see that, how it transforms into glow carbon? It's so light out that it might not be, but I can see it. Yeah, you can see it change uh, into the green glow, right? I'll take some pictures for the thumbnail and try to capture that. But... Uh, yeah, wow, almost completely forgot to show off that feature, uh, but that's cool. Uh, but yes, this was $365 on the pre-order. Uh, now that they've all shipped, he has a drop coming on the 27th, I believe. Yep, uh, January 27th, so that's like a week away from when this video will drop. Uh, I will link uh, Instagram and his website as well. But uh, you have other options uh, than just the one that I got for 365. Uh, you can see there, he's got the S35 VN G10 for 200 bucks. And yes, that's still a lot of money, but to get an arcane design in S35 VN and uh, G10, uh, that's going to be your best option uh, if you want to check uh, out something from him and not have it uh, completely break the uh, pocketbook. So, like I said, that stuff will be linked in the description of the... I just sliced my thumb on it. It is very slicey. Uh, but, yeah, um, I got to master that front flipper. That's the only bummer so far. But, yeah, I'll... I'll ride around with this thing. I'll uh, fidget with it and figure it out. But that's all I got for you, folks. Uh, thanks for uh, riding along with me and uh, checking out the video. 
Uh, please give it a thumbs up and like it. Uh, geez, I got to get back to work. Just took a little break. Uh, but I'm a wanted man, so I got to go. Uh, but yes, definitely give it a, a, a like if you've made it along this far. And if you haven't done so, you can subscribe right there. And then I'm not sure what that video will be, but if you haven't checked that out, give that a like. And uh, until the next one, I bid you mofos adieu.